Imagine if today had no clocks. How would you know when to start or end your day? When would it be time for lunch or sleep? Would you rely solely on the sun? Or wait for the stars to tell you when it's time to rest? The truth is, humans lived for centuries without the concept of hours and minutes. But how? When did we decide that time needed to be measured? And how did time go from being a vague idea to becoming an adversary we all contend with? Let's embark on a journey through the history of time, where it all began with nature's signs, evolved into the earliest tools for measuring time, and led to the advanced clocks we know today. For thousands of years, early humans gazed at the sky to track the sun, moon, and stars. Daylight was linked to the sunrise and sunset, while night fell with the darkness enveloping the earth. In those times, there was no concept of hours and minutes as we know them today. Our lives revolved around nature and its rhythms. If you wanted to plant, you waited for the flourishing spring. If you wanted to harvest, you anticipated the autumn, which brought ripeness and fruit. Everything followed the rhythm of the earth and the planets, with each season and time holding specific meaning. Early humans used nature indirectly to organize their daily lives, but this observation wasn't precise enough for measuring short time intervals. 1. The Obelisk the first solar clocks. As human societies evolved, the need to organize time became increasingly apparent. This is where the pharaohs of ancient Egyptian civilization, around 3500 BC, played a pivotal role. The Egyptians recognized that the sun could serve as an excellent guide for dividing the day, leading to the invention of the obelisk, a tall pillar casting a shadow on the ground. By observing the shadow cast by the obelisk, the Egyptians could determine noon when the shadow was at its shortest. They then began dividing the day into time intervals based on changes in the shadow's length. This primitive solar clock relied entirely on sunlight, making it unusable at night or on cloudy days. Yet it marked a significant beginning in humanity's quest to measure time. 2. The Water Clock A Nocturnal Evolution But what about the night? Here, the Egyptians faced another challenge. How to measure time when the sun set? The solution came in the form of the water clock, a vessel filled with water that gradually drained through a small hole at the bottom. As the water level inside the vessel decreased at a consistent rate, it indicated the passage of time. These clocks didn't require light to function, making them usable at night or in dark places like temples. While they represented a significant advancement, they faced challenges related to irregular water flow due to changes in pressure and temperature, rendering them less accurate compared to solar clocks. Third, Babylonian Time Division As ancient societies progressed, people began to recognize the importance of dividing the day into smaller segments to facilitate daily life. In Babylon and ancient Greece, the concept emerged of splitting the day into 12 daytime hours and 12 nighttime hours. The Babylonians employed the sexagesimal system, based on the number 60, for measuring time. However, this division depended on the length of daylight, meaning that the duration of hours varied with the seasons. In summer, daylight hours were longer, while in winter they were shorter. Nonetheless, this system proved useful for organizing daily activities such as trade, agriculture, and religious celebrations. The Mechanical Clock A Leap Toward Precision over time, new technological advancements arose in Greece, where the Greeks invented mechanical clocks that utilized gears and weights to control the clock's movement. However, the radical shift in humanity's understanding of time came with the Romans, who introduced the idea of the calendar. Previously, calendars were linked to natural phenomena such as lunar and solar cycles. In 46 BC, Julius Caesar decided to adopt the Julian calendar, which is regarded as the first attempt to standardize and stabilize the solar year at 365.25 days. This calendar was more accurate than its predecessors and became the foundation for the Gregorian calendar we use today. 5. Tower Clocks – Organizing Society By the Middle Ages, the need for European communities to organize time more accurately increased. Tower clocks emerged in city centers and churches to signal work hours and prayer times. These clocks were massive and operated on a mechanical system that relied on weights and gears. They became a symbol of organized society, 
regulating people's lives through auditory signals, like bell chimes, alerting them to specific times throughout the day. 6. Atomic Clocks The Age of Extreme Precision In the modern era, atomic clocks have brought about a true revolution in time measurement. These clocks rely on atomic vibrations, particularly of cesium atoms, to measure time with extraordinary accuracy, reaching precision up to one billionth of a second. They are unaffected by environmental factors such as temperature or pressure. Atomic clocks have become essential for applications requiring absolute time precision, such as communications and satellite broadcasting. Conclusion Today, time is measured in minutes and seconds, and our relationship with it has evolved from mere observation of nature to competing against it every moment. In today's fast-paced world, time has become the ruler that dictates every detail of our lives. Yet the question remains, are we truly in control of time, or is time the one controlling us?